Okay, Uncivilized Vitality, the uh, third video about hammocks, and hopefully this last one I forget to mention about a bunch of stuff because I don't, uh, I really should plan them out. It's part of the charm of the channel. We just go straight forward, but it started to rain, so we had to put all our blankets and stuff in the, the car. Not because that uh, we're worried about them getting wet, it's just, it's Sunday, and I don't want to have to spend the next three hours drying stuff out. So, we're gonna do a new video because the sun came back out. My wife will show you, I mean my camera person, will show you that we've set up the um, Grand Trunk um, straps, bright orange, because that way you don't leave them in the forest. And uh, this obviously wouldn't be the color scheme you'd want if you were stealth camping. And then this is just a simple Kamek uh, single roux. The, this is the, the set that we hand out for Uncivilized Vitality um, campaigns or events if people want to try Kamek, hammock camping. Kamek camping? All right. So I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have, like in the last couple of videos, some of that gear, like a good quality under quilt and top quilt from Outdoor Vitals or um, some of the others, they can get pretty pricey. I mean, upwards of four, five, six hundred dollars for a set of those things, even higher. Um, the Helicon Tech Swagman Roll, this is a great setup. We've got plenty of videos on this. I love this. I actually usually carry two of these and my poncho. Uh, and that ends up being, until we get down to 40 degrees, that ends up being my sleep system. But also maybe a little spendy. I'm just going to demonstrate this as a top quilt inside. But I'll show you how to make um, a, uh, a homemade underquilt with your uh, poncho and uh, a blanket, a few dice, some paracord, and uh, a couple of little elastic cord loops you can make with a with a cord stop and I'll show you those or you can just tie them this little blue scrap of space blanket is what I'm setting out so you can see things and usually I'll put that under my hammock and I'll weight it down with my bag uh, I also take a 55 gallon drum liner and then at night because I have nowhere to store my gear like a tent I put my backpack in there I spin the backpack down tuck it under and I lay it right under my hammock that way it doesn't blow away it doesn't waffle in the wind and uh, keeps my gear dry. And I set it right on this so it doesn't blow away so I got a dry place to put my, um, my feet. So let's show you how to make an improvised underquilt. Now before I show you an improvised underquilt, if you own a standard sized poncho and a swagman roll, let's pop this out, haha, <laughs> sunlight. See, I'm not in a hurry this time. So I don't want my poor camera person standing in the rain, getting soaking wet. But here's my Helicon text. Which direction does this hood open? Okay, so it opens that way. My hood also goes that way. So, little plug for the Swagman, super simple got these little toggles that are already huh, sunlight but now we got helicopters flying over all right moving on try to film in the park what are you gonna do they have these little toggles it's pretty simple you just tuck them through the grommets on your poncho each corner And about, about as quick as that, as opposed to, I think in the last video I showed one of my old uh, poncho liners, whoobies, and with the little strings and you tie those into your poncho. You know, I know people do this on YouTube all the time when they review gear, but if I could change one thing, if Helicon Techs were to hear me, a one more toggle about midway down at the arms for this center grommet would be awesome. But. It's not really a deal breaker. So, my Helicon Text uh, hood is now into my poncho. And I'd be wearing this around uh, if it was cold, right? So this would be my, I'm not gonna put it on because it ruffles my microphone, but that would be my coat through the day, right? I just would wear that around at camp no, do not do not really warm and then at night when it's time to uh, get into my hammock if I'm in inclement weather that hammock setup I could carry in my pocket underneath this so now it's time to sleep throw the hammock up and then I'll make an underquilt 
out of my swag man okay so again cool thing about the swag man is it's got these bungee cords at the end where i can pull through and just sort of gather those up from each side you know and if i had a little so I gather those up I come right over here and I'm just going to clip these in to the carabiner with which my hammock is hung to the straps. So I just clip my poncho in at that end. Then we come down here, we're going to pull these little, gather that up. gather that end up on the swag man got these little built-in cord locks so it keeps that bungee cord from pulling back through and the cool thing is once this is gathered up on the ends the two little bungee cords the leftover part can clip right in actually you know what I'm gonna fix this end so it hangs a little lower lower so i'll just run my hammock through these bungees right here and i'll come back and fix that up for you in a second all right now i need to find a way to keep this at the end there's a couple different ways you can do it there's a little toggle right here and i could just grab um, a stake or a stick off the ground these are all breaking or I'd use a tent stake and I throw that through there and that'll catch those little little bungee straps so they don't fly, slide down my hammock. Excuse me. All right, now I take my hammock, I open up that swag man roll and I put that hammock right inside there. So here's the part, come, come up here and we can show them. All right, so my hammock is down inside there. The hammock is gonna support my weight and then you'll notice there's a big gap behind, between the hammock and that swag man roll. That's so I don't compress the swag man and I can drop down there, uh, drop down in there. Now the, the hood, you can just cinch these up, right? Or just tuck them in, right? Same thing with the swag man hood in here. I can just reach in and pull that in so I don't have any insulation issues, right? Now the swag man is gathered up at the end so I'm not losing any heat, right? I've closed that gap, but I leave the poncho open. I do that so that it vents and we don't get a lot of condensation in there, but it will provide a layer of waterproofing. Now here's a couple, couple uses that I've found in the past. You can use an acorn, but I always have uh, dice because sometimes you get caught in the rain, you gotta pass the time. And, and let's be honest, it's just a, it's one of my things. I like the dice. So I can take one of these little elastic cables and a dice, and I can put that dice right in that swagman roll, make that little bunch like that, and I can bunch that poncho right over there in the middle. And you could tie knots, but this way I have that little elastic coil that sort of holds it up in the middle. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I could use an acorn, but I tuck that dice right there, lay that poncho over top of that, hold that little bit, and just bring your elastic cord down. All right, and that just holds that in place. So now that poncho is loose, so it'll vent. Um, I have this on the inside of my poncho for a waist strap to hold it in, in real high winds. You could also take that uh, shot cord and use it. I usually have a couple, a few dice and uh, some shot cord or even a little piece of paracord um, in my pack. But now I've got the swagman roll used as an underquilt and this poncho layer on the outside, once I took that coat off and I'm under my tarp, to provide a little bit of an extra layer uh, of insulation. Which way is this facing? All right, so I make sure my hammock is down inside there. 
Okay, just like that. And then I can try not to fall through. That's another reason I like my tent with the, or my hammock with the stays, because it provides a kind of a structural uh, sort of thing. So maybe I'm not ready to lay down yet. I can sit down in my hammock and relax a little bit. And I'd have that little pad under here. I could take my shoes or boots off. And then I get up here in my, my hammock, and you'll see again, there's space between, between my hammock and the underquilt, even though this is an improvised underquilt. That dead air space is what provides most of the insulation. Then the loft and the vapor barrier layer on the outside protects me from groundwater, groundwater splash up and rain, um, and it's nice and loose, and this is plenty warm. Will you throw me that blanket there, love? Yeah. But then I got my patu. I tucked that down in the top. All right. I tucked that down in the in the hammock, and now I'm I'm ready to sleep. Now this one's pitched a little tight, so it kind of squishes my shoulders in. But I could I could cut a little bit of an angle, and then get a get a better sleep this way, right? A flatter sleep with my patu, and I'm still in my underquilt. So this is a good way to. Uh, improvise uh, an underquilt and if I had to choose I'd say the underquilt is more important than the blanket on top now obviously I would have a, a tarp over me um, a lot of times I'll run two ponchos and two swagmans I use the second poncho above me uh, this setup underneath and then the swagman as my uh, top quilt now let's say you don't have uh, a swagman let's do that part and we'll use the improvised blanket So now we're getting down to, I want to sleep in a hammock, but I don't have any of that gear yet, but I do have a poncho and a wool blanket. You can do that much. And I'll show you how to make an improvised under quilt with a blanket. So you could use a surplus army blanket or again, your patu, or even just any old blanket from home. Heck, I've used uh, Turkish towels and uh, beach blankets before when you get desperate. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of the other videos, even just the poncho hanging under the, the hammock, a lot of times, for me or, or someone like uh, Mark that sleeps really warm, that, that's generally enough, just a little wind barrier. But let's say I have my poncho, and obviously you have to have a poncho. That's just a basic piece of kit you should always have. We're gonna lay that down. We're gonna take our home blanket, right? Our wool blanket, we're gonna lay that out on our poncho. And we're going to do the same thing. So what we need is here at the end is a way to, to fasten, the, fasten these together. Here's a way I've found that's not too bad. I can tuck a corner of this blanket through. Just enough through that grommet in my poncho. Right? Tuck that blanket through, make a little pocket. Take one of my dice. Stick that dice in there. Put that little elastic shock cord around that die. Boom. Now I'm, I'm tied in. I go to this side, find the corner of that blanket, tuck it through that little grommet, pull enough through to make a little pocket, dice, or die right there, a little elastic loop right over there, boom, tie that shut. Now I can do, so I've got the, the one end, the start, and I've still got this little gap to let the, the air out. Now let's pull down to the other side. And you'll notice that our blanket is a little longer than our poncho. That's no problem at all. Just pull it in. We're going to do the same thing at this end. But now I've run out of elastic cord. So I'm going to improvise this piece from inside my uh, hammock. Okay. A little tactical toggle goes back in there. Right, little piece of waste goes in there. I'm just pull that shut. 
So the first thing, first thing I do is get my die out, and I'm going to make a little, a little slip knot that I can pull right out. Just a simple overhand knot. You'll see it's super simple. Tuck that dice die in the, the pocket. Pull that overhand loop right down over that. Tighten it up. Doesn't have to be uh, any any more than that. Let's go to the other corner, the final corner. I think I only have one more die with me. Same thing, tuck the corner of your blanket. Now if your blanket's too thick to tuck through these grommets, you can always just do like we did uh, a minute ago. Just line the corner of the blanket and the poncho up. Place your little stopper there, pull it over. And then I'll just use a little piece of this elastic I've got at the other end, strap that over, tighten it up. Okay. So that'll hold that corner, just tuck it in. So now I've got my, uh, my, my insulated blanket ready to hang up. It would be nice to kind of hold these here. Let's see if I can find a couple acorns since I only brought four dice. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Small pebble, a couple acorns. I'll do this now before we go to the, the stand-up part. Just cut a couple little pieces of string. We'll need that string to hang it in a minute. Same thing, just make an overhand knot. All right, just an overhand knot and leave that knot open. We're going to go about to the middle. We're going to put a little, a little rock or a, another, another die. The die are good for multiple use because then you can play games with them if you're stuck under the tarp in the rain. Just finish this off with a square knot. That overhand stack another overhand on it. Square knot. Let's go to the other side. Somewhere in the middle. This will keep your blanket from sliding down and bunching up under you. Tuck that right there. Okay, pull over top of that. Get your string. All right, right or left, slip that down over the, the little acorn. Pull it tight. Left over right. Now you've got a little square knot. And now I just need a couple pieces of string to attach. My improvised under quilt. the hammock. All right, so let's get this end up first. We can lay this out underneath. And we're going to want to hang this up sort of a gathered fashion at this end of the hammock. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave the poncho loose. I don't want to gather the poncho up too much. I'm just going to gather up the ends of that blanket, kind of bunch those up. Pull it up into a little knot above the hammock. Take one of my strings, wrap that around a couple times. All right. Oh, is the wind blowing? Mm -hmm. Just square knot that square knot that rascal off there. I don't know why I said rascal. And then again, this one's got a little. Um, a little spot there where I could just put a st stick through this little knot and that'll keep my blanket from sliding down onto my or my underquilt from sliding down on my hammock you could also use the toggle but you want it to a way to prevent it from sliding up all right let's go to the other end of our improvised underquilt just like this and since we've See how it's kind of held up by those middle straps, so you'll be able to get nice insulation you're, you'll sink down into. Now this one's a little far, so at this end, I would improvise. And obviously we'll find better ways to do this at camp. I'm going to grab that gathered corner. And I'm just going to tie a quick square knot here at that end. Then I'm going to run my line up through my 
little anchor point there. If I can deal with the wind, get through there, buddy. My little string through that anchor point, and then I'm gonna run it back down to this corner. Wrap it around there. Is this the prettiest thing? No. Will it work? Yes. Keep you warm. Keep you warmer than not having it. Now you got a little bit of an opening on the blanket at this end. Get that cold butt syndrome. So I could gather that up and I'll find a way to kind of uh, hold that up here. In this case, I've got this leftover elastic cord. I'm just gonna stretch that around here. I could use another piece of the brown string, but I already have this cord strapped around there a few times. Now it's gathered at the end. However, the poncho is hanging loose for evaporation or uh, not to get too much condensation. So let's try this one. So see here again, I've got my hammock that I'm going to lie in. My weight will sink me down into this uh, insulating layer, which is, a, is pretty good. It's not a, a commercial underquilt, but it would work. It's just a wool blanket. And you see some spots here where the wool blanket's sagging a little bit. Actually, it's worse over here. You can, this is a good spot. See how it's sagging? You could always just repeat that little acorn or dice trick, right? With the edge of the blanket so you could button it up all the way up. Once that's buttoned up and my hammock is down inside that underquilt, I'm not a fan of these single hammocks. Okay, let's go back to our good old fashioned swag man. Uh, I might have to just get in there and cuddle if that's all I had. All right, just try to spend the night that way. At least I'm not on the ground. I'm losing no or very minimal heat through convection from the wind. I would have a tarp down over me and ideally a bug net. But at the very least, if I had my swag man and an extra blanket, I sit down in my hammock. All right, get down in the hammock. Get my get my feet down inside the bottom of that swag man roll, that little foot box. And you can, if you don't have something fancy like this, you can improvise this with another blanket by folding, tucking, and using your blanket pin, which you should always have your, a blanket pin in your pocket of your uniform with your silk. You make a, an improvised foot box or just tuck it in around your little feetsies. Swing up into your hammock. Ah. Get tucked down. Make sure I'm not um, putting pressure on the sewn elements of my underquilt, like my poncho. I mean, it's a little tight, but now I can tuck this up behind my shoulder on that side. And then I can get a good night's sleep in this hammock and be fairly warm. That's long enough dramatic pause. So the bugs might make this a problem, but as far as warmth, this is pretty good. If I couldn't afford an underquilt, this, you want to you wanna button it up a little more, um, bring an extra blanket maybe layer another towel under there. But you see how this is hanging? Can you see that that's hanging loose? I'm not, I'm not on that blanket. I'm just sort of nestled down in there. I've got some dead air space. It's important you have the air space in there because your body heat heats that air space. And then the, the, the blanket prevents that heat from escaping too quickly. And then this poncho uh, is another vapor layer. So it prevents the heat from escaping, blocks the heat rob from the heat being robbed from the convection of the wind. And then I have a top quilt. This, for me, this setup, as ugly as it is, uh, this is a good fall setup because the bugs uh, have gone back to hell where they belong and uh, I don't have to worry about them at night. So this one will run me usually till the end of November, till we get the first snow and then I'll break out my actual commercial um, outdoor vital or one of the better ones. Um, Besides making the foot box and the full top quilt, like I showed before, you could just put the swag man on, wrap it up if you've got a pair of wool socks like you should have, and that should be plenty warm enough to drop down in there. Put your wool socks and your sleeping beanie on, and then you can just wrap around with the swag man roll and drop down into your hammock and, and, and be uh, plenty warm. So there's a couple different ways to improvise uh, an under quilt and a top quilt with just your poncho, which you're gonna have with you anyway and your swag man roll or whoopee, uh, which you should have with you. If you don't have one of those, at least a patoo or a wool blanket. That's why we always suggest carrying 
uh, you know, a couple wool blankets. And tarp in this hammock setup with the straps fits right in your pocket. You'd, you'd be all set um, to, for an improvised overnight, and this fits right in your drawstring bag, um, bedroll level. You could be out camping uh, anywhere you can find two trees to hold you up. Okay, so that's it for this video because it looks like, it looks like it's going to rain again. What are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to get the camera camera wife uh, into the Jeep before she gets, um, you know, melts, made of sugar and all that. <laughs> yes, I see you. <laughs> okay, wrap it up. So uh, um, jump up and down on the like button, smash the like button, um, make Rendell's day, hit the like button, leave a comment. Would you sleep in this? I mean, come on, this look, this is, this is homeless haute couture. This is uh, fancy. So um, these are the hammocks you're going to be issued on Uncivilized Event if you want to try hammock camping. You get the hammock, the straps, the under quilting, and staying warm is up to you. But this would be um, one of the methods you could try. It's super comfortable. And uh, now we're getting toward the end of summer. The bugs won't be a problem. So subscribe, share, like, notifications. Uh, go back and watch the other two hammock videos. And if you have any questions want me to elaborate on some things, uh, just let us know. That's it. Goodbye.